but something that we always aim for is to have many women going through the applications and making sure that they get to the finish line and making sure that they get to um, to the final stage of the applications and making sure that they get enrolled into the whole program. So that's why we are having this session exclusively for you, because we want to understand how has been the process for you, how can we support you better, how can we ensure that we you, you are submitting everything you should be submitting on time, that you are winning and ready to get like fully enrolled into the program. So that is exactly the reason for today's session, which is exactly this session. And it's going to be an open mic. We don't have any presentation. We don't have anything that I'm going to be talking about specifically. This is just going to be a conversation between me and you. Anything you want me to note so that we can share it with our tutors, uh, with Yabi, with Rodas, with Arun. I mean, anything you want us to do any questions, any, you can even tell us if you feel like you are left out or you feel like there are some points that are confusing you, you feel like you are getting stuck, please, this is a safe space for us. This is an open space for us, an open mic session. So please, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and share. You can even tell us if everything is going well for you so that even others who need some support, they can be reaching out to you. So um, let's get started from there. I won't just be speaking alone. So you can open your microphone or even chat it, type it in the chat box. Anything you want us to, to highlight for now. Over to you, over to you. Who wants to go first before I check on everyone? Hello, hello, hello. Please, guys, I'm waiting for you. I won't be proceeding with anything without hearing from you. Let's have this conversation. This is our open space. This is our only female session, so please. I can see there are a few people who are still joining us. I we go again through why we are having this kind of session. So this kind of session is, uh, we run these sessions particularly for all females applicants because we want to ensure that you are, we are all both on the same space, on the same page when it comes to what we are currently doing throughout this application process. We want to ensure that nobody's getting stuck. We want to ensure that uh, not any gender is dominating another gender when it comes to, to how many submitted the assessments, let's say from yesterday. We want to ensure that you, um, you are really on the same track and that you are ready to get to the finish line. You are getting ready to pass this application process and ready to get enrolled. That's why we hold this space specifically for you. Specifically for you guys. Let's, we are special here. Let's, let's own this space. Let's own this space and share our views. You can raise up your hand. You can open your microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ekram, Ekram, do you want to open your microphone and share what you wrote in the chat box? Because this is beautiful. Ekram, you said, oh, I'm in a library. It's all right, it's all right. I will read it out loud. So Ekram said, we are doing good starting um, we are doing good. We are starting the tough journey and it seems overwhelming when starting, but after starting the task, it's doable, I guess, especially with the help of the highly engaging community. Wow. You know, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. You know, everything, it seems to be hard, but this is the tech world. We already know because we, all of us, at some point we have some background in this so we know how the tech world is out there it's very fast paced 
that's why it becomes very overwhelming. But I loved how you said it very well that after starting it, making like one step, everything else is doable. You know, so happy to hear that, Ikram. Really so happy to hear that. And of course, yes, we have a very highly engaging community. Everyone is ready to support you anytime you have any, uh, you are getting stuck on any kind of point or any assessment. Okay, um, we have Ibrahim. Ibrahim, do you want to open your microphone and share? Guys, I'm, I'm shy here. I'm shy from speaking alone. <laughs> so please open your microphone and share with me. <laughs> Guys, I'm waiting on for you. I'm waiting on for you, please. You're not shy and you don't look shy at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the shy one. I'm, I'm being shy for speaking alone in a room full of 16 plus people, please. But go ahead and share with us, Ananya. I'm still struggling uh, on task one, uh, on the EDA analysis part. I'm really stuck on it and I'm having a very difficult time. And if you have any explanations or hints you can give me, please. Oh, I was on mute. Come again, Anania. You said you are stuck where? On the EDA analysis. EDA analysis. Yeah. Ask one. Okay. Let me check. Emptina, are you together with us? All right. I've noted that waiting for our tutor, Emptina, to join us so that she can explain it better. I'm, I'm telling you, she can do it better than me. So just to ensure that she gives you clear clarification, I'm just giving her heads up to join us and clarify that. Thanks for sharing, Ananya. And we have uh, Ibrahim who said, oh, it has not exactly been easy. I'm honestly still struggling with the completing the first task. I've reached out to two people on Slack though. Ibrahim, do you mind tell us how, uh, what's the progress so far? Like what's the progress so far with the people that you asked? you can open your microphone is it, is it helping so far or do you need extra help that can connect you with our tutor for more guidance Brain, I'm waiting for you. Okay, as probably Ibrahim is typing it, can uh, can someone else share with us? How has been the process? How has been the mm -hmm. process? Oh, Ananya, uh, Emtina is going to be joining now. In the meantime, please, let's have this conversation. Let's have this conversation. How do you feel? How do you feel about everything that is ongoing? Do you feel like you we managed to get to the finish line? What can we support you with? I need more people. I need more people. Like Agat Ibrahim, I'm just going to make sure that you get the support as well as Ananya. And you see, I, I'm feeling intimidated. Ananya, I'm telling you, we can do this. We can do this. 
the first beautiful step you took, it was stepping in here, applying and going straight to the quiz last Wednesday, passing it, and now you are doing all this. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that was the very first step. So you got this, you got this. Just take it one step at a time. I'm pretty sure you're going to be completing it. Ikram, say it again, actually about the EDA section, I think it will be great if you have the explanation for us, Ikram. I'm stressing this to the tutor so that they can join and probably go through it together with us here. Like right now, let me check. Let me check on them again. Then Ibrahim, I've um I've not gone far actually. I didn't exactly get help from the first person since we use different operating system. I would really appreciate if you connect me with one of the tutors for no help. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it really. Um Guys, I'm not being silent. I'm actually texting them again with the issues. And as they are joining, I need more people. So far, I'm hearing from Ikram, from Ananya, from Ibrahim. Just three people, and we are like 20 in here. Please share with me. Let's not get stuck when we can get support. Guys, let's take advantage. Let's take advantage. So please, share with me. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for more people, guys. This is our safe space. This is our safe space. Just ask anything, anything, anything. There is no wrong questions here. There is no excusing yourself before asking any questions. Just please drop anything. Um, we have another one who said, it is not clear for me the flow of the course the flow of the course um what do you mean specifically like the schedule of how everything is going to be running or what do you mean specifically please try to open your mic by explain to me i'm super happy to help You know, Menknat, Asham, please, can you open your microphone? I can see you on my screen. Can you open your microphone and share with us what is not clear about the session, about the courses flow? I, I think that like that's a vague question. And if I can know the specifics, I can be able to help. Maolin said, I still struggle with loading data. Okay, I shall go, go, go first. Asham, you were about to say something. The floor is yours, please.
okay let me go through okay ananya said it's like we deep dived almost immediately yes it's very confusing cause flow okay i get you ananya but with the with everything that happened yesterday we are putting together all of them in one easy to understand repository so that you will be understanding what we went through yesterday with a little bit of explanation about it and the recordings for everything yesterday and for every session that we ran this morning. So I believe that we help you to really understand uh, what's going on. And for any kind of specific questions, let's say it's about the data science or anything that was completed yesterday, please feel free to just point the question on Slack channel in day two Tuesday so that we can help you. You can tag uh, anyone with a name with, with name tanks or even anyone called empty now. Let me type her name here. She's our tutor, so she knows a lot about um, about the courses that you are taking. So you can just type the question there, tag her, or even type the question there. I'm pretty sure someone said we are having an Genji community. Someone is going to be showing you how they did it. And Merlin who said, I'm still struggling with loading data. Merlin, have you, have you typed it on the Slack channel and see if anyone could have helped you? Please feel free to open your microphone and talk to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. How, what, what was the response? What was the response? Is it possible that you open your microphone, Mary? Like, are you in a good space that you can open your microphone and share with us the whole situation? Hi. Hello. Yes, yeah, so I ask for help and uh, get some answers. And I try to make what they give me as a response, but it's still not working. I get many errors when I tried uh, the solution. So I still at the same step. Mm. Okay, I get you. I get you. So you're still getting the error. Yeah. Oh, here's what you can do. Please help me do that. Can you go today one Monday and type the error that you are getting and see if there is anyone who is getting the same error? Okay. Like you will find some people uh like ebenezer in day one monday they mentioned about or uh, like is there anyone facing this kind of error and they managed to get an answer can you type the same error there and wait for some people to give you responses okay yes please um, yes please don't don't get stuck anytime you face an error try to unbag it yourself if it doesn't work please type it in the slack channel okay yeah absolutely Thank absolutely thanks marine for sharing we appreciate you big time um so someone else said it's like we deep dived almost immediately yes it's very confusing cause flow yeah totally understandable totally understandable but i'm telling you like arun said this is to prepare you for what's coming in the tech world. It's super hard. It's super hard, but it's super doable, which is the beautiful part of it. It's super doable, I'm telling you. So let, let's get to be trying and to ask any questions. D don't feel shy or don't feel like people are going to be asking you, um, taking it personally that you're asking any questions. No, we love people who are asking questions and seeking help on the Slack channel. So please don't get stuck. 
don't get stuck. I'm begging you for that. So Mora said, if you haven't completed task one, can you continue with the second task? Um, yes, but please also ensure that you complete task one and make sure that you submit. The deadline was yesterday, but the submission link is still open. So please ensure that you submit before we get to even hear that they are going to be closing it. Is it clear? So just ensure you complete task one and then go to the second task. I feel it's like it gives you much more confidence to do the second task when you have completed the first one. So instead of confusing yourself more and more, I would advise that you complete task one first and then continue to the second task. But if you understand the second task better, go ahead and do it and submit before the deadline. The deadline is today, 8 p.m. UTC. Is it clear, Mura? Please give me some heads up or tell me, mm -mm, I'm not agreeing with you. <laughs> it's all right. And then Mekan said, the schedule time is UTC or EST. It's UTC. It's UTC. Everything throughout the application process, throughout even when you get enrolled into the program, our time zone is on UTC all the time, all the time. So just make sure that, um, I, I think Notion does it better. Notion gives you the time in your current local time zone. I think you will get to see that there, which is really beautiful. But if not, ensure that you convert UTC in your own local time zone. For instance, I'll give you an example. I'm in Kigali. So for me, I'm on UTC plus two. That means if they tell me that the deadline is 8 p.m. UTC, I know that for my side, I have to add plus two hours there. So the deadline in my local time is 10 p.m. Do you get it, uh, Esham? Do you get the UTC time zone thingy? But yeah, it's UTC. And then uh, moving to the next question, Albert said, are we expected to submit every time we make changes to our GitHub? Because yesterday, uh, we have already submitted the link to the repository. Um, Albert, let me get clarifications on that from Yabi or even Emptina. I'm copying it there. Okay, just copied it. I will make sure that I get back to you. Albertal, hope I'm not really messing around with um, the pronunciation, but yes, I'll get back to you uh, about that. And then uh, Melon say, yes, it's clear. Mura, yes, it's clear. Okay, Albert. Yes, Albert, I will ensure I do that. I'm telling really. And that we have not only to post it on your inbox, but on the main Slack channel so that everybody gets to know about this, since it looks like it can generally benefit everyone to know. So, yeah, really, I'm waiting for more questions. More questions, please. Mm -hmm. Make it is. Yes, please go ahead. Hi, everyone. Okay. Uh, I just faced a challenge, which is I have a low uh, tech background. So every time I want to write a code, I need to search it. Uh, so it's a little bit time consuming. So how do we manage this kind of challenges? Or oh, for some people who have some low tech background, you mean? Yeah. We search everything, like every keyword that we are going to use. So it is mm. time consuming and to submit every project on time, it's a little bit challenging. So how do we manage that? Mm -hmm. Okay, the advice I can give you is, you know, I actually I'm so happy that you are even trying with the low tech background you have. So the advice I can give you is that 
whenever you feel like you even have that small question, you might think that it's small, but it might be big. Please type it in the Slack channel. I'm telling you, make this. Everything you feel like you need to understand, don't feel like whoever is posting there is because they know a lot or they are asking some big, big questions. No, just go there, ask any questions you want to know. Other than that, you can even use external resources. You can use YouTube, you can use Google just to understand things faster, to understand what that means faster, as fast as possible. If uh, YouTube keeps giving you like, you know, large information or even confusing information, again, come in the Slack channel, ask people like, please help me with this. What is this? How do I start with this? How do I go about this? You know, like really just type there anything. And I'm telling you, it's going to help because I've been seeing all people who typed their questions there, they have been managing to get like faster responses from their fellows and has it has been helping them how do you feel that about that make this do you feel like it's an easy thing to do for you or do you feel like you are muted All right, no, please tell me. Tell me how you feel about it. Tell me how you feel about it because I know you probably have been trying to get to people on Slack and asking every small MB questions. Just tell me how you feel about it. You can unmute yourself again. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes uh, you don't get the, the right answer to your question on Slack also. I think mm. that's the problem. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to do, Mactis? There are people who, said, who say that they have strong backgrounds in all challenges we are doing. So I'm going to look for their name, like one of them, and ask them if they can be your one, um, like your direct support partner on Slack so that you can even be chatting inbox. I believe that can help much better, is it? All right, I'll do that. Yeah, really. Hello, so yeah, I just inboxed you so that we can con continue our conversation there. I will ensure that you understand everything, really. Mm hmm Okay. More questions, more questions, guy. More questions. This is an opportunity for us to really get the support we need. More questions. You, oh, you can even unmute yourself and tell us that everything is all right on your side and that you are happy to help others. We would appreciate that. So please talk to me. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. We are left with just a few minutes. Really a few minutes. Let's use it. Or I go around and call names so that pro at least I get to hear from everyone that everything is clear. So I'm going through alphabetical order. So Abdallahman, please just text or even open your mic and tell us like, this is my thoughts about all this. Okay, hello. How are you? Can you mm -hmm. hear me? Hello. Good. Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Abdelhaman, we can hear you. We can hear you. So you can un open your mic again and talk to us. 
session is weak, so my voice is uh, delayed. Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't get the the title or the meaning of this session. What should I say or what should we talk about? Oh, like um, with every session uh, session that has been happening, with all the challenges and the tasks that we have to complete, how do you feel about them? Are you okay right now? Do you have any questions? Do you have any blockers? Okay, uh, yesterday uh, it was uh, a tough day or having a lot of uh, information you need to do it, but I think uh, today I deal better with this stuff. All right, you are doing better today. Yeah. yeah, and you understand the task that was shared yesterday and you managed to submit on time. Uh, I submitted on time yesterday, but uh, I'm not uh, satisfying with my submission. So i trying to learn more to adjust the, the last submission. Oh, great, great. Uh, by the way, before I let you, Abdelrahman, do you feel like you can uh, support one of the people who have some low tech background and haven't submitted their yesterday work yet? Can I connect you with one of them? I wish if, if I can do that, but I think I'm um, a low tech background too. Okay, okay, I got you. It's all right, Abdullahman. So I'm going next to Anania. Anania has shared already. Thank you so much, Anania, for being engaging. Thank then you. over to Dorcas. Dorcas. Um, yeah, hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, um, so I think what has been said has voiced more or less what I have been going through, um, the being stuck at the EDA, but I have been getting help and are slowly by slowly understanding what I'm supposed to do and the logic behind what I'm doing. So um, yeah, I'm really positive that I'm gonna like make, uh, make it through this and understand and learn something from it. So yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Super happy for you, Dorcas, that you managed to thank find you. your way. Yeah. And then Ekram, Ekram, you've been engaging really as well as uh, Ebetal. Super happy for you. Let's go to a Risarema. There's Sarim, are we waiting to hear from you? How how has been the day for you? Okay. Okay, Rehmet, I'll be skipping you. Sorry. Here is Arema be skipping you for um for now. And then we have Rehmet uh joining us. Rehmet, if I can give you an overview um of the uh of the main questions we've been uh having here, I think we can take this time so that you can go through it together with us. It's about the EDA section. So I'm going to invite someone called um, Ikram, or oh, Ikram is in the library, but Ananya, 
can you talk about it? Can you talk to uh, Rehmet about it? Rehmet is one of, one of our tutors. Can you open your mic and tell her about the whole situation so that she can help us, please? Hello. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes. Yes, okay, you sorry. are. Sorry, I was not paying attention. What did you say? About the EDA section question you have. Oh, the whole can you explain it to Rehmet so that she can help us? Okay. Um, uh, first of all, I don't know on which files I am supposed to uh, perform EDA analysis. And second of all, I have no uh, prior knowledge about it, so it would be best if she gives us a highlight uh, on how to do it. So I was doing it on Jupyter Notebooks. I was trying to do it, and I'm um, getting so many uh, error messages. So I don't know. It's, it's just a little difficult to do it. So if she gives us a little bit highlights on that, it would be very good. It's just general, general uh, hints. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ananya. Remet, do you want to take it over? Okay. Hello, first of all, everyone. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so, before I'm, I give you some guidance, uh, did you understand uh, the concept yes. of EDA? Hello, Ananya. Wait, it should start. Hello, Ananya. Yes. It'd be best if you start explaining for that and then proceed. Okay, so EDA is basically the process of just, we have a data set that is given to us right now from uh, the document, there's a data set. So the first thing you need to do to start the EDA process is understanding the data. Like Ababa said first, just from the, there's a lot of folders in that data set, just pick one that just one of one of the folders only. Understand that data. Try to create data frames from the from that data. For the EDA to work perfectly, you, you need to have a clean data set. The data set right now it it, it needs more cleaning up. It's more it needs more to be in a table format for it just to make the the other process to more easier. So I will start. I would advise you to start from the data set. Just try to create data frame from those data, valuable frames. And based on the task task one, try to find out, uh, the, I think there's uh, specific things that's written in the document, right? For, for example, uh, there's one that said, sorry, I'm just referring them. So, sorry, like from, for example, this one data, how many users are there? This is a simple thing to find from the data set. Just start from here. Just understand the data and just put the data in data frames. Uh, if, uh, if you see in Pandas, the, li the library Pandas, it, it gives you option to create data frames from say CV files, JSON files. So just try first to organize the data. If you have a, a, a clean data set, the idea will be simple. All you have to do is just find these functions to, to plot graphs, to show this data set with different diagrams. This is what idea do. Just give us more explanatory explanation or visual description of the data set we derived. Do you understand me, Ananya? So I'll try to dig in more. Yeah. Right now, the data set is not easy to do the EDA uh, quite easily. So just first organize the data, which data you want to pick. From the data set, just pick one. At least uh, maybe just pick the folder week one. That's like message from the week one. From there, just 
organize the data and create data frames. Once you get the data frame, the idea will be simple. Okay, I'll try to do so. Okay. Yeah. Anyone with a question in, on the idea? Uh, for now, no more. Maybe I'll have more in the future when I try yeah. to work on it. But thank you. I'll share some references later on the Slack. Just oh, to please make do so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Some the project. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, Rehmet, we have also Nasra. Nasra raised her, their hand. Nasra, over to you. Yeah, um, it's just uh, easy clarifications. Um, most of the JSON file actually does, or the naming of the JSON files are a bit confusing. Uh, one of it is actually related to finding the reaction of the Slack reactions, but somehow there is no file that say Slack reaction dot JSON. Um, it's a bit confusing. That's what I want to know. Yeah, the Slack reaction is just a user's response for something. I mean, like the one we are doing now in the Slack, every comment or every point you make on you on that Slack, it's your reaction. It's user's reaction. That's what it what that's what it means when say when it says Slack reaction. No, I do understand that part, but it's just that the naming conventions inside the data or the zip files or the data role that we get it is not there even or I might be looking for the wrong name. It could be that. Yeah, maybe it's the way you say it because uh, it's the same converse the, the conversation as there. It's the way maybe finding the data maybe that's what confuses you, I think. Just look into them again. Every uh, data. I, I, what I mean is that, for example, we have a, a folder or a directory called All Week Tens. And all week tens contains a list of all activity that happened during the week tens, and that's more understandable. But the there is a function called parse um, that we need to parse the Slack reactions, and it's asking for the JSON files. So where I should find that JSON file, like the Slack reaction in terms of what there is a channel dot JSON, there is a, a the user the JSONs, and more descriptive um, others. But I don't see anything really to user communication or and uh, reactions so a naming of those reasons is a bit confusing that's what I, all i want to point out here so if i understand you correctly the user reaction in communication is not there the json file right i can't find anything specifically say that yes even though I did ask in the group, but not in the chat. Okay. I will look into it again, the data set, and uh, I'll reach out on the Slack. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nostra. We have someone else, um, Avatar asked, are we expected to submit every time we make changes to our GitHub? Because uh, yesterday we have already submitted the link to the repository. Remet? No, the, you just have to commit it on your Git. Every change you make is better to commit it on your GitHub repo. So, uh, I mean, there's a submission every night for the, ta the given tasks on the document. So it will become uh, submitted that by then. So every change you have on your repo, just commit the push. The submission is only one day, uh, um, one time at, at a day. So uh, any changes you make, yeah. Just commit for the day, just commit it. At the end of the night, you will submit your changes. Just follow the document ta tasks. Thank you so much. Also, is that clear? Is that clear to you? Or you can open your microphone and ask. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, as uh, as she replies, there is someone else who asked, Ibrahim asked, it's not exactly, okay, I was asking them how it has been. And then she said, it has not exactly been easy. I'm honestly still struggling with completing the first task. I've reached out to two people though, but you know, there haven't been any progress. Remit, any any advice on these on how they can still navigate yesterday's task? Yesterday's task was basically taking up your environment and stuff like that. Have you finished that? With the one asking this question. Ibrahim, I can see you are still here. Can you open your microphone and chat it with Ramit? Is it the simple task class setting up your environment, your GitHub? Is it finished? Okay. Let's wait to hear if she texts it in the chat box. But in the meantime, we can be answering Mela's questions. She asked, can you guys share a project that we can read from and use as a learning tool as well? Ramat. Um, I'll ask with uh, my other teams if it's okay to share you a project. Uh, but I can definitely share you videos like YouTube that can guide you all the idea process, especially the Twitter uh, analysis. I think it can be helpful for this project also. So I can share you the videos uh, about the project. Uh, I'm gonna have to check with other team members and if they say it's okay, I, I guess I can share you sample project. All right. Yeah, please, please share that with us on Slack. It can be super helpful like right after this call uh, Dorka said, yes, please share with us uh, the YouTube videos. Yeah, please very much do. We greatly appreciate. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope our questions were really answered. We extended our call just to ensure that everyone is on the right, um, is on the right track with us. So thank you. Thank you for being here and for being engaging. Raymond is going to be sharing us all those resources on Slack channel. So make sure you catch up, make sure you ask questions, no wrong questions, no small questions, no big questions. Really, don't, don't judge your question. Just put it there. Pretty much sure our community and our tutors that we get back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Raymond, you want to take the last question in the chat by Ibrahim? Yes, uh, maybe we can just continue on the Slack. On Slack? Yeah. Okay. Ibrahim, please text her on Slack so that she can help you back up. Okay, thank you everyone. See you on the next session that is going to be coming up, I believe in an hour. Uh, just follow the schedule you have and see you.